Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Age 2! So today we're gonna be uh, continuing on with doing random side quests, I guess. Making the money. Viscount must be terribly busy. All that fun stuff. Um, so I'm going to change my party. I'm gonna swap Aveline out for Anders. And... I wanted inventory. I have to... Oh, 20 magic. Okay, so I have to head home at some point to pick up some stuff for Anders. So, first, get you 20 magic and some willpower. And where- okay, you got healing. Good you these ones. We got two. Walking bomb is good. I'll do that one. Okay. So let's head out. Enemies among us. Um I am going to head home first. Your mother's busy writing to and do some quick swapping here. If you okay. want more touching family stories, go to her. Uh -uh. Oh. His mood's definitely improved, but he's too frisky to be cooped up in this shack all day. We need more space. Let's try to make do. Soon, mother. For now, I feel better knowing he's here protecting you. I might not wish to be cooped up here either. I suppose I could take him for a stroll. What an odd sight we'll make. A mother and her Mabari. <laughs> Aw. Is that it? I'm with you, sister. For now. Okay. So let's go out. Derek Carver and Anders. And we are going to... I think we'll go talk to the lady in Hightown quick. Let me just do this inventory swapping. Oh sweet, here you go, Anders. And... This is yours, and that's yours. Alright, cool. So I need to sell some things. So I can sell the gloves, and I think I can sell these two helmets. Yeah. So, let's talk to... I'm sorry about your sister. She sounds like a special girl. Why? Because she was a mage. Your other sister says she was a good person. She never turned down a chance to help people. Yes. Yes, I'm sure the Chantry's got a shrine with her portrait on it. I was trying to be nice. Stick to Surly. It works for you. Oh, come on, Carver. <laughs> Alright, so let's sell a bunch of stuff. Our junk. Alright, so let's go... Oh, she's just over here. Or not. Citizens of Kirkwall, my dear wife Nanette has gone missing. I shall report reward the person who returns her safely. Questions about the bounty or Nanette? Come speak to me in the High Town Market. Ghislaine de Carrick. I don't know if that's how you say that, but hey. So he is right up here. So let's have a chat with him. I need to find my wife. What do you mean you can't help me? This is a domestic matter, Sirrah. If your wife has chosen to leave you, there's nothing we can do. Ninette is my wife. She's legally bound to me. Bring her back. We're done here. <laughs> Useless. Why are we still paying those sluggards? Is there something I can do? Your wife is missing. I can try to find her if you like. Yes. Oh, I have been waiting for someone to say that. That foolish woman has caused me nothing but embarrassment. She needs to be dragged home. Her family is getting suspicious. 
They think I might have... <clears throat> ...done something to her. Even if... Well, I just want to make sure they know I didn't do it. Is Nanette in danger? Do you think Nanette might be in trouble? It's her own doing. Gallivanting about with men half her age. <laughs> She's just trying to show me I am tied to her purse strings. Do you want her back? You're more concerned what her family thinks than what happened to her. Ninette keeps the company of other men, huh? And makes no secret of it. I'll be better off with her gone. <sighs> well, as long as her family knows I had nothing to do with it, they would ruin me otherwise. You're a terrible husband. You don't care that Ninette might be hurt or dead. You sicken me. You have never lived with her. Hmm? It wasn't always like this. We were in love once. She defied her parents to marry me. Sometimes, I wonder if I dreamed those years. When did you last see Nanette? How long has your wife been gone? About a month. I wasn't worried at first. She's run off before. Ninette is uncontrollable, you see. She comes and goes as she pleases. Her family is suspicious. Why would her family think you did something to her? They think I married her for her inheritance. And they know we have been fighting. They believe this is reason enough for me to hurt her. But I swear on Andraste's pyre, I have done nothing. Alright, I can help, I guess. I'll try my best to find Ninette and bring her home. You should talk to Jethan. At the Blooming Rose. <laughs> okay. I didn't know she visited whores. Until Jethan sent a letter. To our house. He even sent her flowers once. Lilies. Hmm? Her favorite. Ah! Talking about it makes my head hurt. Good luck to you, Sarah. Um, Welcome thanks, back. I guess. Okay, Welcome so... You, I guess we have to go to the Blooming Rose now, too. But let's... Let me check my map. So Blooming Rose is there. So I'm going to meet you guys over here. Ma Matcha, I think is how you say that. So yeah, I'll meet you over there by the Chantry. Okay. Hello. I've seen him. Please, can you help me? My brother. Tell me what's wrong. What happened to your brother? Karen was always so devout. So idealistic. He was so proud when the Templars accepted him. I pleaded with him not to join the Order, but he wouldn't listen. You hear dark rumors about the Templars and Knight Commander Meredith. And now my brother is gone. Tell me about Meredith. What do people say about Knight Commander Meredith? Oh, she has many admirers. They lord at the service she does in keeping the mages in check. But others say she is terribly fierce and utterly without pity. That she sees demons everywhere. It is dangerous even to whisper such things. What rumors? What have you heard about the Templars? People harboring escaped mages just disappear. Templars interrogate and threaten passers-by. My friend has a cousin who's a mage, and she says he was made tranquil against his will. You hear more with every passing day. Tell me what happened. I'm here to help you. Just tell me what you know. Karen would write me every day. Then suddenly, no more letters. I wrote him many times with no response. I tried to see him, but Knight Commander Meredith threw me out. They won't tell me anything. How can I help? Your brother may indeed be in trouble. What can I do for you? Perchance, in your journeys, if you find yourself in the gallows, ask the other recruits, Wilmard and Hugh, about my brother. They were Karen's closest friends in the Order. If anyone knows where he is, it's them. Make her bless you and watch after you in this endeavor. Alrighty. So... Let's head... Oh, the crate. Let's search this crate quick. And then we'll head over to the Blooming Rose. Which I will meet you guys over there. Alright, welcome to the Blooming Rose. Let's go inside. So we need to head upstairs. 
Nice day to be planning a trip into the deep roads, don't you think? The blight, the dampness, the festering darkness filled with tainted rats. Shut up. Uh, uh. You've got a real chip on your shoulder, you know. I've got a big blade on my shoulder, Meiji. Right. Wonder what you're compensating for. <laughs> Anders. No. All right. Hello. Today's my rest day, but I'll make an exception for you. Uh, uh, what can I say? Why work if you're not working hard? Jathan, have you seen Nanette? <laughs> Nanette? Not for several weeks, which is a shame. I enjoy her company. I hear she finally left her worthless husband. Good for her. I just wish she'd said goodbye. You think she left... Ghislaine? Did she tell you she left her husband? No. I just hope that's what she did. Ghislaine only oh, wants Ghislaine. her for her family's wealth. Ninette's a jewel. Elegant, worldly, just the perfect level of depraved. Ghislaine doesn't deserve her. Could Ninette be in trouble? Do you think Ninette has come to harm? I hope not. Everyone loves Ninette. Sometimes twice a uh, night. <laughs> Oh, Ghislaine's God. the only one who might hurt her, and he doesn't have the balls for it. Has Ghislaine spoken to you? Ghislaine knew about you and Annette. Did he talk to you? The man is incapable of talking. He came here, yelled at me, called me a dirty knife ear, among other things, and accused me of corrupting his wife. We had him thrown out. Do you know anything else? Do you have any idea where she might be? Well, uh... There was someone else looking for Nanette. A Templar. I believe his name was Emmerich. He wouldn't sleep with me either. Oh my goodness. I can't see why a Templar would be interested in anyone who isn't a mage. You sure she isn't a mage? Any chance Nanette's an apostate? Well, she certainly cast a spell on me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if Nanette was a mage, I think Emmerich would have said so. That was a great help. Perhaps Emmerich knows something we don't. Emmerich said he'd continue his investigation in Darktown. You could see if he's still there. And if you find Nanette, tell her to drop by and see me sometime. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, what do you want, Just Back on? again. Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? Uh, I'm sure. I was just passing through. Have it your way. Okay, no idea why you have that on your head, but we're gonna leave now. Uh, so, before we continue that, I do want to go do Fenris's, uh, quest line, companion quest, whatever, to pick him up as a companion. So, we have to leave the area and then come back here at night. So we're gonna do that. And I believe we have to go up to... The, um, what is it called? Oh, High Town Estates, right there. So let's head over that way, and I'm probably gonna get ambushed a bunch. So, you know. Is that what I think it is? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Loot these guys. Someone's always trying to take over at night, but someone else will always pay for their removal. Uh huh. Okay. So let's head up to the High Town Estates now and go meet Fenris. Oh look, another ambush. Nice. Oh, <laughs> 
Guess we're good. So let's loot all these guys. Come on. Work with me, game. And so it looks like it's just this one over here. And we'll continue moving forwards. So the high town estates are just up these stairs here. And Fenris. No one has right left there. the mansion, but I've heard nothing within. Daenerys may know we're here. I wouldn't put it past him. Who is this man? I could stand to know a little more about this Daenerys. He is a magister of the Tevinter Imperium. Oh, is that all? Nothing to worry about then. <laughs> there, he is a wealthy mage with great influence. Here, he is but a man who sweats like any other when death comes for him. We should be careful. He may have prepared some magical defenses. They will not keep me from him. Of course. Alright, so we're gonna take Varric and... Uh, let's take Anders for this one. I am not afraid of you, Daenerys! Uh, way to be subtle, Fenris. Now that's just rude. Oh. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. <laughs> We're good to go. Did I not disable the trap? Varric, what the heck? I see you have an ability... Here, I'll give you... Give you that. And that. Oh, one more? Okay, we'll give you that. Okay. Good? Not good. He sends spirits to do his fighting for him. Daenerys, can you hear me? Your pets cannot stop us. <laughs> okay. Any more traps? No, hopefully not. Okay. Let's go this way. Look. Uh, there. We can carry these traps. Is that all of them? Wait, where'd he go? There he is. Let's finish this. good? I think we're good. Alright. So... Mm. What's up here? A chest. Oh hey, can I... I wanted inventory. Uh, Fenris, can I equip you? I can. Here you go, boy. And I have nothing else to give you. That's fine. At least that's something. Uh, alright, so... 
This room. Not going to happen. Nope. Okay. And this room. What's in here? Varric, come open this chest, would you? Nice. Is, by. is that better? Thirteen physical. There you go. Okay, so let's head back downstairs and we will head through this door over here. And I guess we'll go in here. Oh, hello. Okay, so go open this chest, a demonic belt, all right, and then let's head to the next room, I guess. Just keep moving around, go in here first. Oh, we have a chest, the belt, and another chest with an amulet and a string of pearls. All right, this room. Have no demons. I think we're good. Alright, so in this chest, some stuff. I'll pick up this. And it looks like that is it for this room. So we picked up a magister's key, so now we can go open that door. That was upstairs, that was locked. So we'll head upstairs. And we will go in this room. All set. Um hello. Are you yeah. and what else do we have? Uh, uh, oh, there's more. Uh, Wait, who's dying? Other than me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Gone. I had hoped... <sighs> no. It doesn't matter any longer. I assume Daenerys left valuables behind. Take them if you wish. I... need some air. Okay, Fenris. Alright, so let's loot all his chests. Interesting. So, I guess I can put that on since I have nothing on. It's cool. Is anyone missing a belt? No. Okay. Cool. Alright. So, I think. Have we got everything? Except for maybe some drops from the shade demons, but. Other than that, looks like we got everything. Alright, so now we get to leave and have a chat with Fenris, I believe. 
So let's head back out to Hightown. It never ends. I escaped a land of dark magic, only to have it hunt me at every turn. It is a plague burned into my flesh and my soul. And now I find myself in the company of yet another man. <laughs> I saw you casting spells inside. I should have realized sooner what you really were. Tell me then, what manner of mage are you? What is it that you seek? Huh. Survival. I'm just trying to get by. Yet I have seen many crimes done in the name of survival. Oh. Hawk isn't the only mage around here. <laughs> I imagine I appear ungrateful. If so, I apologize, for nothing could be further from the truth. I did not find Daenerys, but I still owe you a debt. Here is all the coin I have, as Anso promised. Should you find yourself in need of assistance, I would gladly render it. You would help a mage? You didn't seem all that thrilled with me a moment ago. You are not Daenerys. Whether you are anything like him remains to be seen. Will you work with mages? Are you going to have a problem with my companions? I will watch them carefully if we travel together. I can promise no more. Mm -hmm. Why is Daenerys after you? Your old master must want something more than just a runaway slave. He doesn't want me at all, just the markings on my skin. They are lyrium, burned into my flesh to provide the power that Daenerys required of his pet. And now, he wishes his precious investment returned, even if he must rip it from my corpse. <laughs> that would be a shame. Seems like a waste of a perfectly handsome elf. <laughs> <clears throat> the truth is, I know nothing of the ritual that placed these markings on me. It was Daenerys's choice, one he now regrets. Tell me about Daenerys. You said Daenerys is a magister, but little else. In Tevinter, the magisters hold all the power. Over the Chantry, over the Imperial Court, over life itself. It is nothing for one to own a slave. Daenerys had many, but none he valued so much as me. But you escaped. Then how did you get away? Is it not enough that I did? I carved my path to freedom in blood. I left that life behind. Yet his bounty hunters follow me no matter where I go. I will run no longer. What can you do? I've seen some of your abilities. Do they come from those markings? Some. All I know is that even in the Imperium, warriors such as myself are rare. Perhaps they believe I should feel honored. Will the Hunters return? Do you think your master will keep chasing you? He is too proud not to. Perhaps one day the hunt will cost him more than he is willing to pay. But I doubt that matters any longer. I could use your help. I'm planning an expedition I might need help with. Fair enough. Should you ever have need of me, I will be here. If Daenerys wishes his mansion back, he is free to return and claim it. Beyond that, I am at your disposal. Awesome sauce. So I'm gonna bring Carver back into my party. These thugs are plaguing the streets. I don't see a problem in giving them the fight they want. <laughs> I got Fenris rivalry plus, plus 10, what the heck? Should we go inside and talk to Fenris? <laughs> Fenris, is it because I'm a mage? Come on, man. Not cool. Alright, so... Let's head upstairs. It looks like he has a quest for us. What is this Imperial Chantry? I'm stuck on the edge here. Oh, and I leveled up. So let's level ourselves up. Let's get some... What should we do? I'm gonna add a little bit of strength here and another magic. And then I want... Did I enhance this? I'm gonna enhance my heal. One specialization points. Oh. Ooh. What do I want to be? Do I want to be a spirit healer or a force mage? I think I'll take Spirit Healer. I guess I'm gonna be, uh, working Healer. Alright, cool. 
So then, can I equip anything new? Ooh, I can. So let's do... Wait. 38 armor. 304. Eh, 32 armor, 9 health, 9 mana, stamina, 11 defense. Let's throw these on. And we're gonna throw that on. Interesting. Alright. So... You're a good carver. Alright, so let's talk to Fenris. Oh, History of Kirkwall, Chapter 3. Let's pick that up. And Fenris, I'm gonna talk to you now. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. I like your appearance. I can't imagine why they would be put off. You say what's on your mind. I'll give you that. <laughs> wow. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. This can't be easy. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I've thought about it. I grew up in Ferelden. It will always be my home. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? My family is here. My mother came from Kirkwall. Our heritage is here. Having a place where you can put down roots, I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. You're staying in Kirkwall. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Saharan? Is that where you're from? So I've been told. You don't remember. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. <laughs> where is Daenerys now? You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No. It is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. How long since you escaped? You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. You've been alone. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. <laughs> Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. Are you sure? What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Good plan. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. You could make a home here. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Ansa would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. <laughs> Flatterer. Maybe I should be thanking Ansa. Maybe you should. <laughs> Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. <laughs> Aww. Yep. Fenris. We should move on. Alright. Oh, goodness. I love Fenris. I love Anders. I can't decide who to choose, guys. Such a tough decision. Can I search your house? Like, can I go anywhere? I don't think I can. Nah, it looks like I can't. Well, that's disappointing. So, let's see here. Oh, hey look, Adventures of the Black Fox. 
Nice. Okay, so what else do we need to do? Uh, journal. So, we have... Find Templar Emmerich in Darktown. Go to Old Ruin outside the city and apprehend the escaped criminal. Find Lord Harriman at the docks. Go to the Bone Pit to find the missing miners. Let's go talk to Varric in Lowtown. Templar recruits in the gallows. Yeah, alright, let's go chat. Mark is active. With Varric in, Lot in Lowtown's hanged man. Um, so I will see you guys there. You owe us, Isabella. Well, Lucky, I'll <laughs> tell you what. Since the information you gave me was worth nothing, that's what I'll pay you. Me and my boys will get our money's worth, bitch. Oh, you poor sweet thing. <laughs> Tell me, Lucky, is this worth dying for? <laughs> I didn't think so. Well, if it isn't Isabella, I guess we should talk to her first. So he comes down wearing suspicious lady. Goes. We have a few Don't drinks and everyone's me. laughing at okay. him, but he doesn't care. You're new around here, aren't you? Welcome, and keep your wits about you. You're nothing but tits and arse to the men in this place, and they won't hesitate to grab at both. Uh, good to know. Thanks for the advice. Anytime. Uh, uh. I'm Isabella. Previously Captain Isabella. Sadly, without my ship, the title rings a bit hollow. You're Ferelden, aren't you? You have that look about you. I was in Denerim not too long ago. You know, you might be just what I'm looking for to solve a little problem I have. What do you need? I'm always ready to help. Someone from my past has been pestering me. I've arranged for a duel. If I win, he leaves me alone. But I don't trust him to play fair. I need someone to watch my back. Someone from your past? Who's this person you've arranged to meet? His name is Hader. We worked together back in Antiva. He's never liked me. He's been asking about me all around Kirkwall. Thought I'd get it over with and meet him face to face. What did you ask of Lucky? You wanted information from Lucky. What was it? I asked Lucky and his boys to track down something I lost. They failed to do it. It's nothing to worry about, and this is much more important. A duel? Why a duel? <laughs> I like duels. It's what I do. She's a duelist. And if I win, he'll be dead. Problem solved. <sighs> and why me? What makes you think I'm right for this? You saw me talking to Lucky, didn't you? Those boys couldn't manage simple information gathering. I can't trust the riffraff in this place to do anything right. But you, you're different. Uh, I'll do it. I think I could manage watching your back. <laughs> I'll bet. I've arranged to meet Hader in Hightown after dark. I'll meet you there. I. Uh, alright, Just so... things out, he said. Ah! This child's Beric. So, I've been dying to know what was going through your head when you fought that <laughs> ogre. <laughs> Maker that's big. For the first few seconds, what do they feed those things? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone else that's even seen one. You're lucky just to be standing here. Somehow, Hawk. I imagine things won't be dull with you around. <laughs> Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you. Constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake. Tell me about Bartrand. Anything in particular I should know about your brother? 
To understand Bartrand, you've got to understand the Dwarven Merchants Guild. These are dwarves who would sell their mothers if they thought it'd get them a better share of the Lyrium market. Anyone who deals with them has to sleep with a knife under their pillow. In my family, that's Bartrand. Let's discuss the expedition. What are your plans for this trip into the Deep Roads? Bartrand's running the show. On Draste's ass, he'd probably do that even if we weren't paying for everything. The tide we're looking for is supposed to be a week's travel from the surface. So I hope you aren't scared of the dark. We've got supplies, muscle, excavators. The plan is to carry out everything that's not nailed down. I want to get to know you. If we'll be working together, I should find out more about you. <laughs> You're in luck. I'm always willing to talk about myself to beautiful women. <laughs> my family came from Aww. Orzammar, Noble House Tethrys, until my father got caught fixing provings. He and our whole house got exiled. No huge loss. I was born up here. Sunshine suits me just fine. What do you do? Are you a merchant? A mercenary? I'm a younger son. It's a difficult and dangerous profession. A lot of us die of boredom. <laughs> Fortunately, being Bartrand's younger brother keeps me on my toes. Maker knows he lacks subtlety. I'm the one who pulls strings to keep the coterie out of our hair. Keep us just a whisker ahead of the other families. Ah, You're looking for excitement? A lot of things can keep you awake, you know. I wouldn't reach for the doom first. Sure, <laughs> I could have a cup of tea in the morning. But I hear it's bad for you. I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the deep roads. So, this will be... Let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Great. Now we're adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Eric. Oh, okay, sir. That was cool. You know that guy Marlowe at the bar downstairs? Don't make eye contact, whatever How you do. How is a good mage? Good mage. It goes against all change. You're allowed to make him turn well. Oh, good man. Yeah, whatever. You have been a good friend. Better than I deserve. Aw. By all means, all lead right. on. Is that everything in here? Is that... Yeah, I guess that's all Varric wanted from us. Let's check our journal. What's this? Meet Isabella. Okay. So that's Isabelle's the companion you can pick up. Um, I will do duty at some point. But I think for now, guys, I will leave. I've this always wondered why is every surface the... dwarf a merchant or a smith? You left out criminals and hired muscle. They don't count. We dwarves are drawn to shiny objects, sort of like magpies, but with business sense. <laughs> You're kidding. Of course I am. We come to the surface with the skills our ancestors had, Blondie. You think there's a tradition of dwarf woodcutters in Orzammar? Beekeepers? <laughs> sailors? <laughs> well, there could be mushroom growers and nut wranglers. Oh. Orzammar will never let those people go topside. Too vital. Also, embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so on that note, I'm gonna leave this video here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!